drastic step to get kids back in the classroom. Lemonster's mayor just declared a public health crisis to get the school committee's attention. He says the city has good COVID numbers and having kids at home is actually causing a crisis. WBZ's Kevin McLeod has the story. Despite COVID metrics in the green, schools here in Lemonster are fully remote. And because of that, the mayor says many parents are furious and desperate, and he doesn't blame them. The emergency meeting called by the mayor tonight took a strange turn when the rest of the school committee left to attend a previously scheduled workshop, leaving the mayor to fly solo in his anger over why Lemonster school kids are fully remote. We're at green. We're at the lowest numbers we had. It's time to get kids back into school. And if they're not going to do it, then I'm going to do it. My son Silas is suffering. Indeed, before the meeting went off the rails, several parents complained that remote learning wasn't working for their kids. Watching my child fail and a generation of children being intellectually crippled is so disheartening that not speaking up just seems wrong at this point. The mayor says he's fielded countless complaints from working parents unable to stay home and supervise their children. And he argues that at the very least, grades one through three and special ed kids need hybrid learning right now. What I'm feeling is not just that we're holding our students back, we're holding our teachers back. In fact, the mayor says a survey of parents and teachers shows solid support for in-person school, but not everyone agrees. I am not comfortable with even one single death of a student, staff, or one of their family members because we didn't do this right. Which is why even in Green Lemonster, some committee members argued that fully remote was the only safe option. I think part of the reason Lemonster is doing well is because so far we've stayed remote. But that didn't stop the mayor from declaring the downsides of remote learning as a public health crisis tonight. And he is pledging to find places in the coming days like the Boys and Girls Club where kids can go and get their lessons with adult supervision. If we have to rent space, we'll rent space, but help is on the way. It's not yet clear how the declaration of a public health crisis changes things, but some school committee members say they're already eyeing a shift to hybrid learning, but not until November 9th. In Lemonster tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.